Hi, and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch and & Sons. And this week, we're gonna be overlooking the FT710 again. Now, why have I chosen the FT710? I hear you say, well, I do love this radio, I'll be honest with you. It's, you know, yes, I love the 705 as well, but the, the 710's kind of caught my eye. I've used it a lot um, when we've been out about portable just because of its small compact size, the fact that it will give me 100 watts transmit power if I run it with a battery, you know, that's a lovely additional feature of the radio. However, it's a few more tricks up its sleeve, which I'm kind of gonna go through throughout this video. Now, you may be new to the hobby, you may be sort of looking at buying a new transceiver and thinking, well, it's all very complicated, it will cost a lot of money, and I really don't know which way to go. So, let's get to the first point money. What's it going to cost me for this radio? Well, the prices, I'll be honest, fluctuate so much lately. You've got Yase's cashback offers, which, you know, there is currently one as we put this video out. Um, but basically, it's kind of a sub £1,000 radio. So price point, amazing value for money. As I've always said, there's plenty of used radios out there, which are a lot older, a lot more expensive, and don't have half of the features of this current Yaesu range. Now, you know, oh, still quite a bit of money, a thousand pounds. Tony, what happens if anything goes wrong? Am I gonna be covered by anything? Yep, warranty-wise, Yesu will give you three years warranty on this 710. And don't forget, if you buy it from Martin Lynch & Sons, we are Yesu's only UK dealer-approved workshop. So, you've got no worries really, have you? Nothing to worry about at all. So, as I said, just a quick overview. Bandwise, HF six meters and four meters are standard. It's a multi-mode radio. So if you don't know about multi-mode radios, it means you can operate your SSB, you can do FM, you can do CW, you can also do data, it's not a problem. So got quite a few buttons on here. Now, there are hundreds of videos on this radio online, so I'm not gonna go through every function of this radio. As I said, it's just a quick overview. And I've also got a couple of little not hidden tricks, but kind of things that this radio does. So if you already own one of these, just things that this radio does that you may not be aware of, and to me, give it a lot, a lot of sort of added value. So as I said, you've got this wonderful touch screen and uh, S meter, SWR, power output can all be seen on here. Frequency and for the subband as well. So yes, you've got VFO A and VFO B. Down here, we've got our wonderful waterfall. And then we've got our menu options, which are all basically a part of the touchscreen. So there we go. Nice and easy. We can just press that. Very easy to operate. Now, you may be new to the hobby. You may have heard about tuners. So I need an antenna tuner. Now, hopefully, those who taught you, or if you taught yourself, you'll know that most antennas really should be resonant and we do kind of push towards that. But this does have a tuner. It will give you a kind of tuning range of maybe three to one, five to one. So again, as I said, make sure that antenna is as close to resonance as possible, but this tuner will help you. And it's all built in. Again, simple push, away goes the tuner and away you go. You've got Vox operation and you've got headphone, got a mic socket. So yes, if you want to look into doing contesting, the 710 is a great radio for that as well. One, you can take it out portable, so if you're doing field day, it's nice and light, easy to take with you. Like I said, I've run this on a battery before, 100 watts quite easily. Um, and yep, you can plug in your whole headset, for example, put a foot switch on it, and away you go, or, or just use the Vox. Okay, coming along from that, we've got our multi-function button here, which we see a lot on the AC radios. I'll give it a quick press, just so you can see. So it's basically bringing you up all of your menu options, all the most common ones you're gonna use. And you can just rotate through that. As you can see, it's highlighted. And then you just click on whatever you want to do. It's not a problem. You don't have to go in through sub-menu, 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 sub-menu. It's all there, nice and easy to operate. Okay, coming down from that, again, you've got your DSP available on a knob here as well. And you can also change your steps and also your memory channels with this single function knob. Okay, coming across is your VFO. It's a lovely VFO. It's nice and smooth. There's not too much play in that. I know we get a lot of people saying about VFO knobs and play. This is lovely. This is constructed beautifully. So well done, Yesu, on the VFO. Okay, moving across, RF gain and squelch. 
and your AF gain or volume if you want to put it that way. Nice and easy on these knobs here. And then we have the buttons here on the top. So we've got mode button, we can do the split, we've got noise blanker. There's a lot of options here. So again, you can change your band, you can change your VFO or memory quite easily. You could also do your noise reduction. Now talking about digital noise reduction, this does have the same function, kind of as your FTDX10 and your FTDX101. You know, obviously it's not going to be up to the quality of, uh, you know, a £4,000 radio, but it is very, very good. I mean, we can see if I can pop it on for you now quickly. So let's uh, tune this across. Okay, so we've got a station there. Hopefully you can hear that okay. Going to hit the noise reduction. There we go. All of a sudden, the station appears. So... Filter wise, you know, as I said before, if you're coming from an older radio and you're used to those mechanical filters, this is all done with DSP inside the radio being an SDR. So there's no additional filters you need. You can literally change everything here. Contour, you can change the, the width that you're listening, the width that you're transmitting. Very, very easy to do with the 710. So again, why it's a great option. Um, moving across from the noise reduction, which obviously I love because that was great the way that that guy just came out accessibility to doing other modes. So a lot of you may not want to speak. Yeah, that, yeah, it does happen in this hobby. It does happen in this hobby. A lot of you might not want to go onto 80 meters and have a chat. You might want to do your FT8, for example. So 710 will do FT8 very easily. Now there is an FT8 button on here. When you press that, it doesn't mean it's automatically going to start doing your FT8 and sending it. You're still going to have to, you know, put it onto a computer or a Raspberry Pi or whatever you're going to use to drive the software to run FT8. However, there is a button on here. You can press that. It will put it into the FT8 mode, drop the power down for you a bit, adjust your filters, change the mode, and you're ready to go. Now, this is one of those kind of uh, features that maybe you've already owned a, an FT710 and you've not done FT8 that you may not be aware of. And it's the fact that, uh, you know, I bang on about the fact of USB connectivity. This actually has two USB sockets on the rear. So if you look at the back of the radio, there's two USB sockets that are the same. Now, one of those will handle your cat control and basic control of the radio itself. You know, band changing, however you want to do it through a PC. And the other one of that will handle all of your audio. So it's very, very simple if you want to do anything out into a digital mode. That will take your audio out, take your audio in. Very, very simple. So that, that's, as I said, that's kind of a little feature that you may not have been aware of, even if you already own the FT710. So moving on from that, what else is there on here, Tony, that I may not know about? Well, can you see these little lights here? This one here and this one here. Now, this is part of the VMI system. And again, if you own this radio already, you may not have even paid attention to these lights. So this is basically telling me the state that the radio is in, whether it's going to be transmitting or whether it's in memory mode. So I'll show you an example. So at the moment, we're on blue, so we're on VFOA. That's what's happening. We can change this and we can see here. Now, if all of a sudden I wanted to operate split, i.e. using either this frequency to transmit or receive whilst listening you know, to the other one, quite easy. So if I hit split, oh, there we go. These have now changed to red. So if I'm distracted at any point, maybe I've got a, a call that the uh, cup of tea is ready during my rag tube, quickly pop downstairs and grab it. When I come back to the radio, I can take a look at the radio. I'm fully aware that Oh, hold on a minute. The red lights are on. I'm still in split mode. So it's pointless me calling that guy who's working simplex. And uh, I'm probably, or if not, I'm probably going to miss a DX. So as I said, nice blue function for that. If we go into, let's take it out of split. I'm going to go back to the blue. And if I go into, let's say we're going to go onto the BVFO, you'll see a green change. So now we're operating on that BVFO there. We'll go back to A. Now, we're in VFO mode, as I said. If I press M, it's going to go white now to tell me that we're in memory mode. So let's go back onto there before I forget. So hopefully this is a feature. If you already own one of these 710s, 
that you've now become aware of. You may not have even realised that there was a reason for these lights here. It wasn't just a case of, oh, that looks nice. Okay, so moving on from there, what else is going to help me operate this radio, Tony, if I buy it and it's new to me? Well, take a look behind the radio. As you can see, this is all out onto a screen. So there is a DVI socket on the back of the radio. You do need to use a DVI to DVI cable, so your monitor does need to be DVI compatible. And that's, that's a big thing, and I, and I will push a point of that. You do not want to be using converters to HDMI or anything like that, because there are voltage changes that can happen. So DVI to DVI, and away you go. And it's, as I said, it's beautiful. You've got the screen here. It's all mirrored out there. What more do you want? I've seen those modern shacks where you've got your 43 inch TV. That's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. Now, Tony. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking about buying that FT710. However, I, I, I might even use it in the car. Really? You can put one of these 710s in the car. Now, it doesn't sound as stupid as it may do. And I will. <laughs> You may want to know why. Well, the reason is the FT710 is capable with Yesu's ATAS120 antenna. Yes, that superb motorized HF62 and 77's antenna, which you can take out and about, pop it on your car, make sure it's earthed well. That's Tony's top tip. And hit tune on here once you've put ATAS on the menu and it will go up and down and tune to the band that you want. So basically you can use this radio kind of covering HF to six meters in your car with an ATAS without even getting out of the car to tune the antenna. It really is that simple and it is a, it's a great option. As I said, I've always used an ATAS antenna with my Yesu FT857. Um, also, I know Dave's using one with an FT891 at the moment and it's just a great combination. And even once you've added that onto the price of this radio, it's still sub 1500 pounds. So you, you're basically on the air with a mobile shack for you know a, a reasonable price okay one other feature which you may not be aware of so that we, that's four features now that we've had if you already own your 710 that you, you may not have already been aware of um remote operation yeah remote operation 710 can do it it's not that difficult to do yes it's going to cost you a few pounds more However, if you look at the prices of uh, alternative radios that are out on the market that allow for full operation remotely, you're going to do it again for, it's going to be under £1,500 for the radio and the additional equipment that you need in order to have a fully remote station. So what you do need is one of these. I'm going to pop that on there. This is Yesu's SCU LAN 10, and this is basically your network remote control system. So this will plug into the back of the radio. You can attach it to your LAN network and away you go. The, the way we've kind of done this at the moment, just, just to see if it's possible, is we've connected it to uh, a network adapter here as well, just to see if we can connect it to the Wi-Fi and then get onto the uh, SEU LAN 10 that way. And it is possible. So you could have this upstairs, have it on your internal network at home, operate the 710 downstairs on your laptop, running the ASUS software, or get it fully cleared through on your ports, open your ports up, up at home for your router and then go remote. So you could be anywhere in the world and still operate your 710. Now this is a function that not a lot of people know about and I've got a few guys and girls that operate the 710. They've had it for a few months now um, and have been asking about this. So we have tested it, it does work perfectly well. And for those of you that are really into your averaging, it is now possible with the 710 if you use the remote software. So again, another little bonus treat for you there. Um, yeah, get yourself averaging with the 710. Why not? Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, hopefully it's given you some sort of insight into the FT710. Again, I'll just mention that the cashback is still available for a short period if you're watching this video as it's just come out. Now, would I buy a 710? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. I've actually bought a Yesu's FT710. So, I'm sorry, Icon, but I just had to get one. It's just a wonderful radio, very simple to use. And I just can't think for the, for the price it is, you just can't say no. Anyway, catch up with you very, very soon. Have a wonderful weekend and uh, enjoy the DX.